So today we are doing our um, Passover service. So I need to be getting ready. I'm sitting here right now <laughs> watching uh, reruns of The Real because they haven't started their new season yet or their new episodes yet. Um, something on the camera. There we go. And I just made it worse. <laughs> um, because they haven't started their new episodes yet with, you know, the quarantines and everything going on. So, yeah. So that's what we're getting ready to do. Well, not right now, but like later on. Um, but I need to get ready. The boys are taking a nap. And Amir is down here. Well, he's in here with me. Here he is. All right, Namir is right here. Hi, hi. How are you? Are you playing? Yeah, you're playing. Oh, y'all. So y'all know at the beginning of this season, I've been talking about my hair and how I haven't been able to find my gel anywhere. Well, I still can't, but. I'm gonna try to do something to it. So I'm gonna try to do like a before and after. So I'm trying to cover up my hair right now because it's a hot mess. But I'm gonna show it to you in a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I, I can't find my gel anywhere, but I'm going to do something to it later. So I'll show like a before and after. I guess I, can, I should go ahead and do my before now. Um, but yeah, so right now it's a total mess. What is this? What is this? And I got this clip. I don't, I don't even know why I had that there. But yeah. So here, I'm going to sit up so you can see it because it's hard to see it in front of the dark couch. But yeah. So my hair is... Yeah. Yeah. So I've pretty much been walking around like this. <laughs> I've been walking around like this every day. Cause I mean, I don't go anywhere. I mean, everybody's quarantined. So I don't go anywhere. I may like go outside with the kids. And if that's the case, then you know, I can just pull it back. And as y'all can see, I still got my postpartum shedding going on. So yeah, Amir has his going on too because the back of his um, scalp is turning bald. But of course, it'll grow back and this will grow back also. So yeah, all that will fill back in. So yeah. So, since the boys are taking a nap, I'm going to mop the floors and I'm going to do something to my hair first. That's the first thing I'm going to tackle. I think I already know what I'm going to wear. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and tackle my hair and then I got to cook. So, I'll take y'all along for that. So first, let me go ahead and get my chores out of the way. Um, cause I've already eaten my lunch. Y'all have had some homemade tacos and it was good. Um, I mentioned on my Facebook page that I'm going to have, um, a cooking series coming up on my YouTube. So here on my YouTube channel, I'm going to have a, um, a cooking series come, um, coming up. So this is where I pretty much will, you know, have videos of the, the different things that I make um, because I make a lot of things you know from scratch and it's not like you know your typical stuff that everybody buys like for example which I'm gonna talk about this when I do my um, my uh, almond milk recipe because um, my family they love almond almond milk the boys they love it my husband loves it I love it yeah so, yeah, so while everybody was, like, scrambling to go find milk and none of the stores had milk or anything, I was just chill. Because I'm like, I got milk. I got almonds. 
I got milk. <laughs> so I wasn't stressing. I wasn't stressed about bread. I make my own bread. So yeah, so stay tuned for the cooking series coming up. And um, so if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, go ahead and do that so that you can stay caught up when all of that comes along and all the other videos that come along. I'm gonna go ahead and get these chores done and do something to this hair, y'all. My goodness. Look at my garden, y'all. AJ and Amara, they love coming in here every morning to come and see how much the plants have grown. So once they get big enough, as y'all can see, my green beans are like off the chain. Um, <laughs> so once they get big enough, I will put them outside in my yard garden. And there it is. So out there I already have my cucumbers, I have some tomatoes, and I have some um, bell peppers out there. So yeah, look at that. I'm like so excited. I really am. All right, now I need to clean these floors. Cause they are, oh my gosh, look at that. They're just filthy. Filthy, filthy floors. This is what happens when you have kids. They mess your floors all up. So yeah. All right, so when it comes to mopping the floors for this particular time frame that I have an occasion, I need something quick and very simple. So I'm just simply using some Walmart brand Windex. So some glass cleaner. Cause y'all, this stuff works on pretty much everything. I use this to clean everything. And then this, since I have wood floors, this is my favorite stuff for wood. It makes it so shiny and just cleans it so well. But I have this because I don't want to use the whole, like um, use just only this on the whole floor because this gets really, really slippery. So I wanna just clean the floors with this and then just top it off with a little bit of this for some shine and um, yeah, and the orange scent. <laughs> and instead of using my regular mop, I'm going to use this bad boy here. So I'm pretty much like wiping the floors, just not getting down on my hands and knees to literally wipe them with the rag. I'm using this. Um, you're supposed to be able to put like a solution in there to mop and then you squeeze this button to spray it out and then mop like that <laughs> but mine is cracked so it leaks and I think you can see the crack right there yeah so it leaks I don't even use that anymore I just spray whatever it is that I'm gonna use to um, clean and then just spray and mop or spray and wipe whatever you want to call it all right so first yeah, these are all my cleaning utensils all right so first i'm going to get my swiffer um i don't know what it's called but my swiffer and i'm gonna use this to vacuum like all the little pieces and stuff so that way when i mop i'm not just pushing dirt around so i'm gonna just hit this button here and yeah, go through and get this stuff vacuumed and get this floor mopped and polished all nice and clean. See, look at that. Alright, so I just spray a little bit and mop. And you know, for really dirty spots, and I just put a little bit more pressure to it and really scrub it up. All right, y'all, I'm about to do something to this hair. Crazy hair, don't care. What kind of do care, though? Yeah. I got a question. <laughs> 
So, y'all think I'm too old for this? I mean, this is like my favorite lip balm. And yes, I've been using it since I was in middle school. And yes, I still use it. And yes, I don't care. <laughs> but I asked because I remember my friends and my cousin laughing and making fun of me um, for my wedding when they saw me pop this open and put it on my lips. And I'm like, really? You still using Lip Smacker? You too old for that. But it's the only thing that works on my lips. So now I'm about to look and see what will work on my hair. Cause it's, oof. I can, oh. Nope, that's empty. So this is what I usually use. I thought I had some left in here. It's empty. Why do I have an empty jar in my cabinet? I don't know. I don't know. All right, I wanna see, I'm gonna see what I, what I can find. Yeah. Okay. This brand right here, I love it. I love this brand. And my favorite thing for my hair is this. But guess what? It's empty. Why do I have? Why do I have an empty, why do I got empty jars just sitting here? Like, do I think that if I leave them in there and I need it, and I might go back in there and it may just happen to be a little bit more. I don't know. All right, that's two jars right there. It's empty. But I wish I had this because if I had this, I could do something. Let's see, I got Eco Empty. And Eco Almost Empty. And I got plenty of this. Okay, so my recording got cut off because my husband called me. And uh, we like to FaceTime each other. It's not really FaceTime, but that's what I call it, FaceTime. So we like to FaceTime each other when we talk on the phone. So yeah, so I just got off the phone with him. So he's going to pick up um, some things for this evening and he's heading back here. And this little guy right here was throwing a fit in the living room while I was in here searching for some hair products. So I want to go check on him. And y'all, let me show y'all what he did. Let me show you. Let me show you. What? Are you going to stand up? Y'all, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. I'm like, no wonder you throw in a fit. You got all that yuckiness on you. Ugh. So I got him over a blanket right now, and I'm changing his diaper so yeah fun with kids <laughs> so those of you that don't have kids yet or your kids are like still like well your kid or kids whatever still like newborns or you're expecting don't expect to do everything smoothly all the way through because you will have interruptions yes but guess what they're cute well i don't know if this counts as cute interruption it's kind of nasty but i'm i'm his mommy i don't care i don't care there's still a cute interruption yes 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 you're still trying to give mommy some love yes this boy okay <laughs> oh yeah and new moms for those of you that ever wonder why newborn or baby uh, clothes their uh, shoulders are made uh, like this like with the little overlapping thing it's for moments just like this where they have ruined the back <laughs> they have uh, poof 
all over the place. And so instead of pulling that over his head, you can just take it off this way. You know, I can literally like just change him with one hand while I hold the camera. But yeah, that's why babies' clothes are made like that. So that way you can just pull their yucky, dirty, soiled clothes down that way instead of over their heads. Because you don't that well you don't want to put poopy all over their face and head and stuff. And <laughs> And then, of course, you have a bigger mess to clean up because then you have to clean that up. So, yes. Yeah. You're telling everybody, say, everybody, mommy getting me all clean. Say, yeah, mommy getting me all clean. Yes. 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 Yo, I can literally play with this baby, like, all day. I really can. Well, look at you. Are you all nice and clean now? Yeah, you're all nice and clean. Yeah, yeah. You're such a happy baby, I love it. Yes, you blow those spit bubbles, blow them. Blow those spit bubbles, yeah. Okay, y'all, so I gotta go in the other room and get him some clothes. I usually keep his clothes up under the bassinet, but there are no clean clothes here, just burp cloths cloth diapers that I use. So I'm gonna have to come in here in Amari's room. So nap time is not over, but he is awake. And I need to get in here and get some clothes for the baby, so. I was not expecting that. And I know some of you may not be like, well, some of you may be like, okay, well, he was asleep. He didn't even hear you come in there. Why you ain't just go and get the clothes? Y'all, I wasn't expecting that. It freaked me out. And see, I kind of panicked. So that's why I just packed up. Because, oh, Amari, he's like my little wild child. Because he, he wants to play all the time. So I went in there expecting, you know, all right, he about to be all off the wall and the ceiling. I'm about to come and make him go sit down, but he was asleep, so I did not want to disturb that in any kind of way. And there's actually some clothes in here. With all these piles of laundry. Um, so, let's see what I can find. I think all these clothes are too small for him because we just changed his size up from zero to three months to three to six months. Um, Let's see, this one's three months. Well, and you can just look at that and probably tell that he's too big for it, but we're gonna throw this on until I can get to the room. And I don't want him just hanging out in his diaper. And this is why my hair stays like this, because by the time I get to the point where I can do something to it, it's time to go to bed. Oh, you're fussing. Okay, he's getting sleepy. That's his sleepy cry, because it's like really, really pouty. So he's sleepy. See, he's got a full tummy. Now he's got a clean diaper. Yeah, he's ready, he's ready to go to sleep. I'm gonna see if I can get him to smile while he's crying. Like he is that much of a happy baby that he will laugh while he's crying. I love it. Are you getting sleepy? Hey. 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 Oh. Okay. Now, finally, let's see if I can do something to this hair. To this hair. Gosh, Looking at this, I don't know. It just looks kind of no, it is crazy. Um, can y'all tell how long my hair is? Can y'all tell with it looking like this? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a quick wash 
And I happened to find a bottle with a little bit of activator gel in it. So I'm gonna put probably the rest of this <laughs> and then um, use some of this. Um, I have this spray too. I bought it, not sure what I thought I, what I thought it was gonna do with my hair. I don't know. But I'm gonna put some on just to see. So let's see. It is almost three o'clock. My four-year-old AJ knows that three o'clock nap time is over. So I'm gonna try to do this as quickly as I can before he comes running down the stairs waking everybody up. And by everybody, I mean Amari. Cause the rest of us are already awake. Yeah. <laughs> And just like that, Amir went on to sleep. Oh, okay. <laughs> and of course, this one, he ain't go to sleep. So I brought him in here so he wouldn't wake up Amari. So he's watching Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. And I'm going to finally, once again, do something to my hair. Let's go. All right, y'all, so this is much better. Now, it's not completely done but um and it's still wet so um yeah it'll look better later on when i get it the way i actually want it to turn this way in the sunlight so it's not the sunlight um so yeah so it looks better when my hair was all crazy and stuff and i'm still whispering because the baby's still asleep but when my hair was all crazy and stuff, it reminded me of when I was transitioning from um, relaxed hair to natural hair. And my hair was kind of like, wow, like a lion. <laughs> and I went to the beauty salon with one of my friends and the, um, and the lady that was on her hair, she asked me was I there to get my hair done too. Now mind you, my hair was just like, wow like a lion and um kind of like it was before this but it suffered had straight ends because i was you know transitioning from relaxed hair and she asked me was i getting my hair done too and i was like no i'm not and she was like oh okay well you cute though so you can you can you can, you can wear your hair like that go i'm like really <laughs> And a lot of people were saying that. It was like, oh, it's interesting to hair. You cute though. You can you can wear your hair like that. You cute. You got a cute face. Hello. <laughs> so y'all saying my hair ugly? Yeah. But I knew how my hair was going to turn out, so I wasn't worried. And look at it. Look at this kid. Always want to eat. You ready to eat? What do you want to eat? Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Oh, and I'll be back too. And baby. Whoa! Hey, Daddy! And I think the baby's sleep. Hey, Daddy! So, how did she get me? I'm not gonna finish my whatever stuff I need to get done. I'm just sitting here talking about my hair. Why did you scare me? It wasn't my intention to scare you. I didn't even know you was in here. Daddy? And when that lady asked me, was I getting my hair done? And I told her no. And she was like, oh, but you, you got a cute face, so you can wear your hair like that. Because my hair was like all wild and crazy. How did you get here? I drove the Durango back home. You went to the Durango? Yep, you went to the Durango, yes. All right, y'all, let me get this boy fed and figure out what I need to do next. Which boy? This one, because he was in here <laughs> talking about he needs to eat. So, the hubby got his podium. I got the floors, mom. They're all nice and shiny. Okay, I still gotta feed this one. But first, I gotta change this TV because it's still on the same channel from when I was watching the real. So we're gonna change that. Because we got kids in the room now. We're not watching anything that's not kid appropriate. What, buddy? Okay, here it is, right there. Yep, that's Daniel Tiger's neighborhood. Yep, you did say it right. Daniel, the 
That's right. Very good. That's right. Uh huh. What does tiger start with? Yes, there you go. Yes. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that was you just spelled, but <laughs> okay. Mari. Mari. Hey. Holy Mary, you're so precious. Are they missing this rest of the peaceful state? Hey, you ready to eat? Yeah, you ready to eat? Alright, what's happening? <laughs> Come on, wanna go eat? Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go eat. Y'all, I just thought somebody was at my back window, but that's the rocking chair. <laughs> I was ready to go into fight mode. All right, y'all, did good? All right. All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm back in, in the bathroom again. I, I gotta put my hair up, because y'all, I can't do this whole having my hair down. Like, it looks nice, but it's aggravating. I can't stand it. And I feel like I can't focus, <laughs> because I got all this hair on the back of my neck. And I can't stand it. So I am ready to tie my hair up so then that way, boom, I can really get some work done and get stuff done. Or as AJ said, get some stuff to get done. So um <laughs> I'm gonna do like that little thing that everybody's doing now where they're like just transforming all fast. I can't remember what challenge it is. Is it the no rush, don't rush or something? I don't know. But yeah, so I'm gonna ready to do something with my hair so it's not aggravating my neck, okay? Yeah. And there we go. I got nothing in the pockets. I'm not gonna show the other side because y'all, my hair is like gone. So, <laughs> all right, so now I can go and get everything ready. Yeah. All right, y'all, so I got the lamb chops out seasoned and ready to go waiting on the oven to heat up so now i'm about to do the unleavened bread so let's go all right y'all so i am finally dressed and ready to go got everything cleaned up and everything cooked yeah i just remembered i gotta do the salad so got the unleavened bread and i got the lamb and yes i gotta go do the salad Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, verse 14. Right? There was something going on out the door. Y'all need to stay inside because when I come and I see the blood, I'll pass over you. You know, in church, we talk, they told us about the death angel. Well, who was the death angel? The book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 declares, he says, I am the one that gives life and I am the one that kills. So we talk about the death angel, we talk about Yah. Y'all says when I come and I see the blood, I will pass over you. Passover. 
and they both each got a girl. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Where you going? Your friend? Oh, we have some problems. Keep it that way for we have some problems. For we have some problems. I, I thought I was your girl. We didn't have some problems. AJ, I thought I was your girl. Oh, my daddy. <laughs> Swear up, <laughs> dude. And they're back at it again. Except for Amari's actually crying. What's the matter with he you? Sleep is what is wrong with you? Time. What is wrong with you? You're my girl. Huh? I said you're my girl. Oh, I'm your girl? Daddy! Daddy! What you running for? You can't protect your girl, you running for me. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 